In this video, I am going to explain everything about Shopify Meta Objects. Many of you have requested this, so we'll be covering what they are, how they differ from Meta Fields, and when to use which. So let's not waste any time and get started. First announced at Shopify's Winter Editions 2023, Meta Objects provide a new way to define and manage custom data models across the store. In simple terms, you can use them to store additional information. For example, in your Shopify dashboard, if you go to Products and then click on Add Products, you'll see an interface like this. Here you can add all the info about your product such as the product name, description, images, and much more. And we have similar segments when it comes to adding collections. We can add the title, description, and images here. These Products and Collections tabs are also kind of meta objects too. We can say that these are predefined meta objects from Shopify. Okay, I will give you another example now. Let's say that you're running a fashion store. Now, you might want to show a list of all the designers you work with, featuring their name, description, profile image, and a link to their website. The question then becomes, how do you store that information? Designers aren't products, blog posts, or pages, so there's no default model for creating designers in the back end. That's exactly where meta objects come in. With meta objects, we can define our own objects and specify the input fields we need, such as a text field for the name, an image picker for the profile photo, and a URL picker for the website. Once defined, we can create as many designer entries as needed. Now that we understand what meta objects are, let's quickly go over how they differ from meta fields. Meta objects let you define entirely new data models, such as a designer profile. Meta fields, on the other hand, extend existing data models by adding additional information. For instance, let's take an example of a fashion store once again. In the Shopify backend, we don't have any option to add care instructions, product material, and quality separately, right? Most people add it in their product description, which is absolutely fine. But if you use meta fields, you can add separate sections for care instructions, your product materials, and much more. I've made a detailed guide on meta fields, which you can watch from the first link given in the video description. Coming back to meta objects, it's basically a group of meta fields. By using meta fields, we can add some additional information about the products. But when it comes to meta objects, you can simply combine multiple meta fields and create your own sections. There's also a way to use meta objects and meta fields together by referencing a meta object within a meta field. Let's say you want to display the designer of a product directly on the product page with a message like, this item was designed by X. This would require storing designer information on the product. Instead of creating multiple meta fields, one for the designer's name, another for the photo, and so on, you can create a single meta field on the product called designer and assign it a reference to the meta object. This way, one designer entry can be reused across multiple products. If you ever need to update the designer's information, you only have to change it in one place, and the changes will apply to all linked products. To summarize, meta objects help create new data models, meta fields extend existing models, and meta fields can reference meta objects to keep data consistent and easy to manage. Now that we understand the concept, it's time to show you exactly how we can use meta objects in our Shopify store. For the sake of this video, we will continue with the designer section example, which I mentioned earlier. I am going to use this Shopify store. This is my demo Shopify clothing store, where I will show you everything step by step. If we click on this little eye icon, we will be taken to our Shopify store. Here, you can see that we are selling different fashion items for men's. If we click on any product, it will take us to the product page. This is our product page. Here, we have different sections and I will add the designer section in between these two sections. Okay, to do that, we first need to create a meta object. So let's go back to our Shopify dashboard now. To access the meta object section, you can simply go to the search bar and search for data. Here, you'll see these meta objects, definition option. If we click on it, it will take us to meta objects settings. Alternatively, we can click on this content option on the left and then we can go to meta objects directly from here. Here, you'll see this list here. These are some pre-made meta objects that were auto-created by Shopify AI. 
We only need to create a new definition here for our designers. So you can click on this Add Definition button to proceed further. By the way, you can also access this Meta Objects from the Settings tab. Simply go to Settings on the left and then go to Custom Data option here. Here you'll see the Meta Fields definitions. And if you scroll down, you'll see the Meta Objects definition section. You'll also see these entries that are auto-generated by Shopify AI. Here, I will click on the Add Definition option. Next, we need to give our Meta Object a name. For now, I will name it as Designer. Next, we can add all the different fields that we need. So, I will click on Add Fields option and select a single line text option. I will use this to add the designer name here. Next, we can add a description here. And then we have some other settings here. Like you can set it as a required field. You can set a minimum or maximum character's limits, etc. And then I will click on this Add button. Next, we need a section for Designer Description for which I will select the Multi-Line Text field. Next, we need a section to add the designer photo. I am going to add a file picker for the photo. Lastly, we need a section to add a website link or URL. So, I will select the URL section and confirm. Okay, I think this much info will be sufficient for now. We now have fields for the designer's name, description, photo, and their website. So, let's save that definition. We can do that in the top right corner. All right, now that our definition has been successfully saved, we can start adding entries. Although there's a shortcut here, let me show you how to get there without the quick link. I will simply close this tab, which will take us back to Meta Objects. You see that the Designer Meta Object is also added in this list here. If we click on it, it will show us the option to add entries. From here, we can add a new entry. As you can see, the setup is pretty straightforward. It's very similar to the product editor. All we need to do is enter a name, description, photo, and website URL, exactly the fields we defined earlier. To keep things short, I'll skip ahead and add three designers with some test data. Okay, I've finished adding the test data. I've used some random names, had ChatGPT generate the designer descriptions, and selected some images. For the website field, I just added Shopify.com as a placeholder. It's all quite self-explanatory. We can go in at any time to edit the entries or add new ones. Now, let's see how we can use that data. Specifically, how we can incorporate the new meta object entries on the front end and in the theme files. To show these details in the front end, we need to associate the meta objects with the meta fields. We can create meta fields by going to settings on the bottom left and then go to custom data. Here, you will see the meta fields definition. Since we want to customize the product page, I will go to product option here. Next, you can see these different meta fields here. These meta fields were created by some Shopify apps, so don't focus too much on that. Simply click on Create a new meta field option. I'll name it Designers. Next, click on the Select Type option. Here, we need to find the Meta Objects option. Next, under Reference, we need to select the Designers Meta Object option. And then I will hit the Save button. All right, we've successfully added the meta objects with the meta fields now. Next, we only need to go to the products tab here, and then we need to assign different designers with different products. To do that, simply open any product from the list. Next, scroll down to the meta fields section. Here you'll see two options. One is category meta field, and the other is product meta field option. Under product meta field, you should see the designer meta field. If you click on it, and then select Entry, you will be able to assign a designer to the product by selecting from the list of designer entries. For now, let's assign this designer with this product, and then hit the Save button. One thing you'll notice here is that we are not seeing the designer's name here. Instead, we are seeing the designer's custom handle here. To update this, you'll need to go back to the Meta Objects settings on the left, and then go to the designer's Meta Object. Here, I will select any designer from this list. 
To change the handle, go to this handle option and then click on this edit button. Next, I will simply enter the designer name as the handle here. We also need to make sure that the handle is short and easy to remember so that we can easily assign it with the products. And then hit the save button. And I will follow this exact process with the other two designers and change their handle name. And once it's done, we can go back to the products section and assign these designers with every product. Now, there are two ways to assign the designers to each product. You can either assign the designers manually, just like we did earlier. Or you can bulk select similar types of products and then assign the designer with the product. To do that, you need to filter out similar types of products here. You can either search by product name or search by category. Next, you need to select all the products that are showing here and then click on this bulk edit button on the right. From here, you will be able to change these product details. We will add the designer's info for each product. To do that, go to columns on the top right and then find the meta fields option. Next, enable this designer option here. This will enable the designer settings here. And now, we only need to click here and then select the designer we want to add. This is how we can add different designers in all of our products. All right, we've updated every single product on this list, and now we only need to create a custom section, which will show the designer details on our product page. To do that, go to the online store option here, and then click on this customize button. This will take us to the Shopify page editor, where we can customize the entire look and feel of our store. Since we want to edit the product page, I will select the product page from the drop down and then I will choose the default template. Now, to clarify it, this demo store only has one product page template, and this template is being used in every single product. Of course, I can change the product from this left settings, but that won't be of much help since the changes we will make will appear on every single pages, and that's what makes the meta fields and meta objects even more valuable. Due to these meta fields and meta objects, we no longer need to create multiple product page templates. We can simply set these custom data for one product and other products will be adjusted according to their own data. Now, to add the custom data, I will click on this Add Section option on the left. From here, I will select the image with text section as it contains everything we need. I will also reposition it by simply dragging it up or down. This section has an image, a title, where we can show the designer's name. Then we have the text section where we can add the designer description, and then we can also link the designer's website in this button. First, I will add an image here. On the left settings, where it says image, you need to click on this icon here. Next, click on this designer option and then choose the image. And you'll see that the image is already visible here. This is the image of the designer which we assigned with this product. Next, we need to add the designer name. So select this title here and then remove the text here. Next, click on this icon, then go to designers option and then select the name option. Next, we need to repeat the same steps to add the descriptions. Last but not least, we need to add the website link. So I will select the button here. On the left settings, I will change the button label to website. Next, I will click on this icon Select the designer option and then choose the website option here. And just like this, we've successfully added the designer's info on our product page. Of course, we can select this entire image with text section and make changes from the left settings and make it more attractive. For example, we can change the image position to right and we can also play around with the color schemes here. Make sure to check everything in the mobile view too. And once everything is done, we need to save the changes by hitting the Save button here. Okay, now I will exit the editor and go to the product section. Here, if I click on this little eye icon, it will show me a preview of the product page. And if we scroll down, you'll see that the designer details are also showing here. This detail can be different for every product, depending on the designers assigned to them. Whenever you view any product, the dynamic data from the assigned designer will appear in the image with text section. The best part is that if you need to update the designer's information, you only have to update the meta object entry, and the changes will reflect across all linked products automatically. 
you'll also be able to check the assigned products in this reference tab here. And this is basically everything you need to learn about Shopify Meta Objects. If you still have some doubts, then make sure to ask us in the comments section. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in my next video.